Ayan. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good day, or whatever time na napanood niyo po itong ating uh, YouTube channel. So, welcome nga pala po sa mga bagong ano lang na nakita yung YouTube channel ko. And welcome back po sa lahat ng mga kaibigan, kasama at mga valid client natin. So, this time, since tapos na po yung first 1 to 20 questions ko na na-share sa inyo, Ah, uh, yung, yung questions number 22, 21 at saka 23 hindi ko na lang i-include the to share because ay may mga item tayo na lalak uh, i-skip. So with that, I believe you're all excited so hindi ko na patatagalin. So I'll throw a question and then sasagutan po natin agad-agad. So let's start. And by the way, today is October 3rd. Uh, 14. So, ibig sabihin, you only have 9 days po to prepare for this um, BCLT examination. God bless you and uh, yun lang po yung masasabi ko. <laughs> Kasi I, like to, I don't like to say good luck but rather uh, I would like to say God bless pa sa lahat ng mag-exam. Papasa po kayo at maniwala po kayo sa akin. So, let's start with number 24, the local treasurer as the members of the following local committees and boards except Ano daw dito sa apat na choice, ang hindi naman po kasali ang ating local treasurer, local finance committee, bids and awards committee, local scoreboards, appraisal committee. So, hindi ko lang pitatagalin. The answer here is letter B. Hindi na po siya kasali dyan. The bids and awards committee ang ating local treasurer. So, on number 25, the local finance committee is survey created in every province, city, or to be composed of the following. Except, Local Planning and Development Officer, Local Budget Officer, Local Treasurer, or Local Administrator. And with that, let's answer is letter D. Hindi po kasali si Local Administrator sa ating Local Finance Committee. So let's talk about the Local School Boards Committee is to be created in the province, city, to be composed of the following, which is, which is the Provincial and City School Boards Composed. Sino naman po dito yung hindi kasali? The governor or mayor and the division's president of the school as the co-chairman, the chairman of the education committee of the SP, sanggunang panalawigan at sanggunang pangingsod, the pro provincial city treasurer, or any provincial or city personnel. So it is expected that letter A, B, and C are part of the so-called school board committee. So hindi ko po kasali sa letter D. And for number 27, still the same, the same question. And nahanapin pa rin po natin yung hindi naman po kasali sa city and provincial school board. Is the, is the representative of SK Federation in the Sagulang Panalawig and Sagulang Panglusod is part of the school board? B. The duly elected Pedate Provincial City Federation. C. The representative, the representative of the teacher's organization in the province or city. Or D. The duly elected academic personnel of the public school in the province or city as a member. Ang tanong po dyan, ano sa tingin nyo yung hindi naman kasali sa school board at saka iba yung kanyang personality? So, the answer is letter D. The bids and awards committee survey created in the province city to be composed of the following. Ano na naman po yung hindi kasali? I see A. Local Chief Administrator as Presentative The Local Treasurer and the Local Budget Advisor as Member the General Services Officer and the Head of the Department as a member or the Barangay Treasurer as member of the Bids and Awards Committee. So, sagot po natin is letter D. Mahilig po ako sa D kasi dolar po yung apelyedo ko. <laughs> so, again, the Bids and Awards Committee has the following function. Let's talk about part ba siya sa, uh, sa Bids and Awards Committee itong A. Undertake the Post-Qualification Proceedings B. Resolve motions for reconsiderations. C. Recommend award for contract to the local chief executive or the authorized representative. Or sa tingin po natin, ito po ay lahat ng kanyang function. The answer is letter D. Ika nga kasi, dolar yung apelido ko. So, lalagpasan po natin yung number 30. Bagkos ay dumulitsyo pa tayo sa number 31. The, the local treasurers are mandated under the Omnibus Election Code to participate in the national and local election the following capacities. Ito po yung uh, function niya. A. Delivery and transmit of election returns. B. Safekeeping of transmitted election returns. C. Canvas of the Board of Canvassers. 
Yeah, expected yan is letter D, the all of the above. How about naman po ito? Uh, this is still a continuation with number 31. Eh, the capacity of a local treasurer in the national local election. Siya po rin po ba ang custodian ng ballot boxes ng election para pernalia? Preparation emergency ballot. Reco record on quantity and serial numbers of official ballots and election returns. D. Verification and distribution of official ballots and election returns. So, the answer is letter E. All of the above. <coughs> Let's talk about this one. The barangay treasurer shall be bonded in accordance with existing law in the amount to be determined by the sangguniang barangay but not exceed blank. The premium of this shall be paid by the barangay. A5, 10, 15, 20. The answer is letter B, 10,000. For the para ma-assurance po natin, titingnan po natin yung number 36 na answer key. Sa answer key natin. It's true, it, it's, it's, it is letter B, 10,000. So, an approved fidelity bond are valid for how many months? A year. The bond shall be renewed by the local government unit by submitting to the Bureau of Treasury the request together with the list of bonded officials and employees with, of course, attachments, copy of latest Bureau of, Transmital, Bureau of Treasury Transmittal Letter, latest copy of Salin, and the agency certification that applicant has no pending case. It is valid for letter B, 12 months. Let's proceed with another questions. Okay, let's be reminded with the following question for number six. To be valid, a tax or revenue ordinance must conform to the following substantive requirements. It must not contravene the Constitution. It must not be partial or discriminatory. It must be generally consistent with the public policy. It must not be unreasonable. So, klaro klaro na po, magiging sagot natin is letter E. It is all of the above. For number 11, local government unit may exercise the power to levy, taxes, fees, and charges on any base subject not otherwise specifically enumerated here in the LGC of 1991, taxed under the provision of what? A. B. I. R. Department of Finance, the National Internal Revenue Code, or none of this. So number 11 is letter C, the National Internal Code of Revenue. Para makonfirm natin, titignan po natin yung answer key for number 11. Shadow Marami. And number 11 is letter C, indeed, National Internal Revenue Code. Okay, may I continue with number 35? Accountable forms for acknowledging collections are two classes. The following are accountable forms with money value cash tickets for number 55, certificate of transfer of large cattle number 52, certificate of ownership large cattle number 53, marriage license certificate number 54. Where the answer is letter. All of these are part of the accountable forms with money value. So it's letter E. All of the above. Ayan. In the case of a collector assigned to the field where travel time to the places of assignment to the local treasury office is more than one day, the number of collections should be made at least once a week or as soon as the collection reach, how many, how much? Three, four, or five thousand. The answer is letter C. It is five thousand po. Okay, let's proceed with another question. Okay, the following proceeds of special education funds shall be allocated for the purposes and approved of the local school board operation of maintenance of the public school, construction and repair of the school building, facilities and equipment, educational research and sports development, purchase of books and periodicals. Well, basically the answer is still the same, all of the above. Oh, paano naman po ito? It consists of private and public money which have officially come to possession of a local government official as trustee, agent, or administrator, which have been received as guarantee for the fulfillment of some obligation, government fund, special education fund, trust fund, or general fund. 
The answer is letter C. Trust fund. This is also the annual budget of local government unit which refers to a financial plan embodying the estimates of income and expenditures for one fiscal year. A. Annual appropriation. B. Continuing appropriation. C. Supplemental appropriation. None of this. Well, the answer is letter A. Annual appropriation. So, marami na po ba tayong nalalaman? Wow. Oh, let's talk about this one. It signifies, number 15, it signifies that the expenditure on cure does not adhere to establish rules, regulations, procedure, guidelines, policies, and principles. Ayan. Is it irregular, unnecessary, excessive, extravagant, or unconscionable? So, I would like to say that the answer is letter A. That it is it is irregular. So, bak dal masyado po maingay yung aso sa neighbor namin. So, I'd like to stop this one. Pali po ka tayo madisturbed. So, with that, uh, abang abang na lang po for more uh, quizzer, for more uh, uh, questions that possibly or probably mga ang probability naman nito ay mga 50% na maaring lalabas po this coming October exam. So, with that, salamat po sa bakikinig. Take care yourself and God bless po. Bye-bye!